Doctor Strange stars Benedict Cumberbatch as Doctor Strange. As you have probably already guessed, this is his creation story. It starts off with Stephen Strange in a very successful, very confident, very competitive, very cold a-hole of a surgeon. It's very interesting to see that in this world of surgeons, of top surgeons, they pick their games, quote unquote, who they're going to operate, what's the reputation, being super concerned about their reputation. Uh, so they're not going to choose someone who they think they won't have a good chance to look good saving or has a low chance of survival, you know, if the risky situation, they're not going to do it. It's not about helping someone because you want to help them. It's about choosing the best one that's going to make your reputation look best. Now, I'm curious to know, is that how it really is? I'm not surprised, but I am kind of am. Leave a comment down below if you know. One night, Doctor Strange is speeding around his car and he has a horrible accident. He now has to face the cold reality of what he once was, a master surgeon with master hands, now damaged hands and unable to be a master surgeon. Stephen Strange searches high and low for a solution to his problems with his hands. One day, he finds out about a place where they actually can cure you. Getting involved with this group in the name of healing his hands becomes way more larger and life-consuming than he ever could have imagined. How was this movie as a whole? And what can we learn from this movie? Let's find out. I've seen this movie many, many times. It's one of my favorite movies. Now, watching this one this time, I found myself being very antsy. I wanted him to get to the monastery. I wanted him to already get into the action already. At this point, I've seen the movie enough to where I want to get to his magic. I want to see him in the world of magic. Honestly, I think I'm kind of ready for Doctor Strange and Madness of the Multiverse or whatever that movie's called. I'm ready for it. So Marvel, this is for you guys. Bring it on. It's got Rachel McAdams and I know I'm going to offend some people with this. Rachel McAdams to me, to me, plays Rachel McAdams. I mean, I think she played on Mean Girl some other tone of character, but in general, Rachel McAdams plays Rachel McAdams, and I'm a little bit like, Nech, it's Rachel McAdams, not going to do anything spectacular. She's going to fill the part. That's my opinion. All the other actors, super superior. Benedict Cumberbatch, who has a British accent only. He totally speaks with an English-American accent. It's so weird. Mordo, who's the guy who plays his friend or whatever that helps him in training. That guy has been in other movies that I really enjoyed. He's a very strong actor. And then just the Grand Master Lady as well. She does a really good job as well. I enjoyed her. All of them do a really good job. The action scenes were good. A little bit chaotic at times. But in general, I, I found myself interested in them. They didn't go too long in the fighting, which I appreciate as well. Marvel, in my opinion, can go on and on with the fighting. And I do have to take a break. This one doesn't have that feel for me as much. In fact, I want to see more fighting, so maybe it's just varied and exciting. Arrogance and fear still keep you from learning the simplest and most significant lesson of all. It's not about you. I like what she says. It's not about you. You're not getting it. It's not about you. And there's a quote from Pablo Picasso, which I resonates with me and is really, honestly, kind of how I live my life. The meaning of life is to find your gift. The purpose of life is to give it away. This quote reminds me of the book Live to Serve. Evan Carmichael writes it. It's a good book. It helps you find your purpose. And then it says, okay, now get out there and share it with people. That's the point. Whatever your biggest trauma or obstacle in your life was to overcome, you work on overcoming it. And then you spend the rest of your life sharing with others how you overcame it. And that's what I'm doing here. And that's what I think it's really beneficial and really gives you purpose in life. And that's what I learned from this movie. Doctor Strange is one of my favorite movies in the MCU universe, and I love it. I've seen it probably one of the ones I've seen the most. Great actors, great action, neat story plot, really cool psychedelic realities and manipulation of time and space and all that stuff. In fact, guys, I really recommend this movie. Go check it out. I'm going to give it a 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. But hey, guys, you don't stop here. There's the MCU universe playlist right there. Or you can choose a video over here. Either way, you can continue learning from movies, TVs, and documentaries, how to build a better life, and see if you want to watch them or not in the movies.